You will hear a number of different recordings, and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions, and you will have a chance to check your work after each section. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. Write all your answers on the listening question booklet. At the end of the real test, you will be given ten minutes to transfer your answers from the question booklet to an answer sheet. You should be prepared to do this with the practices. Now turn to section one. Section one. In this section, you will hear a conversation between Rachel and Caesar. They are discussing a field trip for the following week. First, you will have some time to read questions one to ten. You will see that there is an example which has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Hi, Caesar. How are you? Good, thanks, Rachel. I'm fine. I was going to ring you tonight, so it's a good thing I've run into you. I wanted to remind you about the field trip, the two-day field trip next week. Caesar. Wanted to remind Rachel about the field trip next week, so next week is provided in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Now listen carefully and answer questions one to seven. Hi, Caesar. How are you? Good, thanks, Rachel. I'm fine. I was going to ring you tonight. So it's a good thing I've run into you. I wanted to remind you about the field trip, the two-day field trip next week. What field trip? The geography field trip to the Warangumba Dam and the water treatment plant. It's a compulsory part of the first year environmental science course. Didn't you know about it? No, I must have missed that piece of information. This is news to me. But give me the details, please. Sure. Well, we have to meet outside the library next Monday at seven in the morning, or you can meet us at seven forty-five at the bus station in time to catch the coach, which departs at eight o'clock. Oh, all right. And how long does it take to get to this place? Well, once we're on the coach, it will take about two hours. Uh, no, actually, more like two and a half hours at that time of day. And it could take as long as three hours to come back the next day because of the evening traffic. And what's the purpose of the trip? Didn't you get the course outline? You don't seem to know anything about this course. Well, remember, I only started at the university a month ago, so I joined the course two weeks late, and I've been trying to catch up ever since. Oh, of course. Well, we spend the first day visiting the dam. I believe we actually go inside the wall of the dam, which is really quite interesting, to see the dam functioning. You know how much they regulate the water supply each day, depending on how much water is needed downstream in Sydney. Oh, okay. And、um, so, if this is a two-day trip, where are we staying? Not camping by the dam, I hope. No, no, not camping. They do actually have some overnight cabins near the dam for visiting groups, but we're spending the night in a youth hostel in a town nearby. That's all been arranged by the university. And what about meals? Should we take our own food along? No, you won't need to do that. The hostel provides two meals: breakfast and an evening meal, and we can find a cheap place to buy lunch. Great. So. Is this the only dam that supplies water for Sydney? There are a couple of others too, but this is the main one. Well, with a population of over four and a half million people, 
I suppose we do use thousands of liters each day. Absolutely. In fact, according to my notes here, they pump the water through something like twenty thousand kilometers of pipes and canals, and store the water in two hundred and sixty-two service reservoirs. And each day we use enough water to fill six hundred Olympic swimming pools. Now you will have another chance to look at questions eight to ten. As the conversation continues, answer questions eight to ten. And what's happening on the second day? Um. Well, we're coming back to town. And going to the water treatment plant to see how they purify the water for drinking. Oh, that should actually be quite interesting. I'll bring my camera. Yes, that's a good idea because we're supposed to include original photos for the final piece of work at the end of the course. And make sure you bring a notebook and pen or pencil. Okay, I'll do that. You'll probably need some good walking shoes and spare clothes too. And I would recommend that you bring a waterproof coat of some sort, because the chances of it raining are pretty good next week. And a hat, perhaps. Sorry, no. I draw the line at a hat. Fair enough. And by the way, do you have a mobile phone? I do actually. Well, bring that along, because that way we can keep in touch more easily. Provided that mobiles work up there, of course. That's a point. Do I need a map? No, I wouldn't bother. We won't need to do any map reading. Okay then. See you on Monday, and thanks very much for letting me know. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers.